Hello everyone and welcome back to Octopus ITS. I'm Sharang Dev and today we are going to create another simple Android application which will show us some information about our own device or you can say our own smartphones. Okay, so let's get started. So in today's episode, we are going to create an Android application which will show us our own device information such as the Android OS version which is installed on your phones, then the build version and other relevant device information. This information will give you the idea about your phone's specifications. So let's create a project by naming the application as device info. So for that go into file, click on new project. Okay and type the application name as device info you can choose any project location you want I'll just simply click on next again we are using this applications for our phones and tablets so again click on next we are going to need the empty activity so just select the empty activity and click on next and just simply finish the project so once you have created a project, uh, we want to create the user interface for this particular application. So go into layout file, which is located in RES folder. Okay. So inside RES folder, there is a layout folder and inside layout folder, this is the UI file. This is activity underscore main dot XML. Okay. I will use the text mode as I am compatible with the text mode and I use this more often. So you can use the design mode and change the properties of components you have selected. So over here, I'm going to use again a relative layout. Okay, so let me change this constraint layout and replace it with relative layout. Okay, so you can see it over here. And you can see the default text view hello world is present. So I'm going to delete that text view. So for this project, we only need one component inside which we are going to show the complete device information so we are going to need only one text view for this particular application okay so let's create that text view and i'm going to set the width and height of this text view as match parent okay now let's give the id of this text view as info so this is it this is our user interface which we need for this particular application so you can go back into design mode and you can see that text view has been created and it has occupied the complete screen space as we have set the width and height of those as match parent okay so let's jump back into the main activity.java file now in main activity.java we are going to call some functions or methods which are going to display the device information okay so there are some properties that we are going to use which will show us the relevant information about our own smartphone. So there are some properties that we are going to use which will show us the relevant information. Okay. So we have created a text view inside activity underscore main dot XML. Now for referring that text view, we are going to create the object of text view. Okay. So I'm going to use the name of this object as result okay now we are going to initialize and refer the object with our ui text view component by using find view by id method okay so inside on create method type result equals to text view we are going to use find view by id method r dot id dot whatever the ID name that you have given for your text view. In this case, I've given the name as info. So now we are going to call the set text method of our text view class by its object. Okay. So result is our text view object. Now simply type result dot set text. So inside inside set text method, we are going to display all the device information. Okay. So simply type device info as the title which is to be displayed inside our text view okay 
so I'm going to use the plus symbol which acts as a concatenation or you can say that it, it simply appends the text inside the set text okay at first uh, we are going to display the OS version okay so, so inside double quotes you can write OS version this is just a label which we are writing inside these double quotes then outside these double quotes then we are going to call the system dot get property method so inside this method so system which is of java dot lang package dot get property which only has one parameter okay so we are going to use this system dot get property method inside which uh, we are going to write the os dot version so this method will return the os version information of our smartphone all right now just simply use the concatenation the next parameter that we need is the os architecture okay so i'm going to just label it as os architecture and after that we are going to call the system dot get property method again and inside which i'm going to specify os dot arch okay which actually returns us the architecture which is present in our smartphones all right now again the next parameter that we want to be displayed is the os name okay so just type os name and after labeling it we are going to call system dot get property method again inside which we are going to specify os dot name okay this is the property now again we are going to use the concatenation now we want the android version uh, present in our phones okay so for that I am going to type Android version okay I'm just going to label it and after that I'm using build class dot version which is in caps dot SDK okay so this will return the Android version present in our smartphones all right after that again I'm going to use the concatenation now the next parameter we need is the device information okay so I'm just going to simply type the Android device and now I'm calling build dot device info okay so build dot device which re will return us the device information of our Android smartphone okay so again concatenation now now we need the device model to be displayed okay so again I'm going to label it as Android device model plus which is used for concatenation and again I'm calling build dot model okay so this will return us the model information of our device and at last I will use the product property to be displayed okay so for this again I'm going to label it as product okay and by using concatenation I'm going to call build dot product alright so this much information we needed to be displayed on our application okay so I'll just simply run the app on the pixel XL emulator okay so our application has been launched and you can see over here that it's returning the device information which we have mentioned inside that text view okay so you can see the device info which is the label over there then you can see the OS version which is 3.18.48 plus for this particular pixel XL emulator okay then you can see the OS architecture is i686 then you can see the OS name uh, which is returned as Linux then you can see the Android version which is nothing but the API level 26 okay uh, then you can see the Android device generic x86 
then you can see the device model android sdk built for x86 then you can see the product information sdk g phone x86 okay so the system record dot get property and the build class has returned the information about our device okay so this is our device information application i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode do give your suggestions or ask any questions or queries in the comment section below subscribe to our channel and as always thanks for watching this video